today I'm going to explain the JDBC Java, Java database connectivity concept in Java server cases what is JDBC JDBC is a Java based data access technology from Sun, Sun Microsystems it is referred to as Java database connectivity it is an API for the Java programming language that defines how client may access a database using Java programming language so let's see the practical implementation of JDBC in J JSF so let's start with a class name login bnd and before starting the JDBC concept first of all we should know the steps for connecting to the database from the Java first of all use class dot for name to load the driver and I am using Derby database so I have to give the database org dot apache dot Derby dot jdbc dot client driver driver is loaded and I have to connect to the driver Jdcom equal to driver manager dot web connection. We have to specify the database JDBC JDBC Derby localhost. 105227 in IT lab and we have to specify the username name of the database ITKSTU and the password STU DGNT student here now we have to create a statement to execute the query to write a query to create a table create string equal to create table it lab dot login info user id execute the query using the execute update see in the servers there is no table like name login info in IT lab so after executing this project you can find a table name login info some data one two three see now refresh yep see you can find a login info with two user id so create statement is done now so just let's comment it
going to insert the data string insert string equal to insert into id then dot login info values db dot get user id Such statement. Now I'm going to update it. St empty then execute update insert string. See in the table we cannot find any data. Now Let's execute the project. Run. See, I'm entering billion one 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 and one two three four five six. Execute. Yes. It's done. Check the service and view data. See, we can view billion one two three four five six. can do select select statement jdbc using jdbc concept now selecting we have to use result set result set rs equal to statement dot execute query for selecting you have to use execute query and here select star from id lab dot login info ID equal to plus ID dot get user ID plus dot next result set is a temporary table where the entire where the entire statement result will be stored if rs dot get string dot get dot equals and b dot get user id then flag equal to one See, 
let's check whether we are getting the proper output or not um, see now if the, the database consists of billy one 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 two three four six so if the user enters the correct username and password it goes to the welcome page see whether we are getting the proper output or not I am entering billy one 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 two three four five six yep we are going to the welcome page so here the data is the data we are getting from the database is the same the data that we are entering so login verification is done now what we have to do the other one is update so for this update I am going to use prepare statement prepare statement ps equal to db com dot prepare statement I'm going to update update it grab dot login info I'm setting user ID equal to question mark where password equal to question mark now ps dot set string one here I am trying to update the username from Billy one 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 to Ravi. So let's see. B dot with password. to execute execute on date equal to ps dot execute on date now let's see the result whether we are getting the result or see after executing the project the name has changed to Ravi from Billy 111 so update statement is working Ravi here the main things that you have to concentrate is the syntaxes you have to be careful while giving the syntaxes see the syntaxes such as uh, like execute update when to use execute update when to use execute query all these are very important like when you are using D DML data manipulation uh, queries then you have to use update whenever you're using data definition language queries you have to use execute query so be careful whenever you implement any operation hope you understand the session and enjoy thank you